Hi everyone, my name is Miss Boleyn and today we are going to be phoning graphing mapping. Let's dive in. So first, let's talk about what a phoneme is. Phonemes are the smallest segment of sounds that are put with other sounds to make words. There are 44 phonemes in our English language. Each phoneme has a special articulation. We use our lips, tongue, and teeth. Now let's move on to what a grapheme is. Graphemes are an individual letter or groups of letters that represent the sounds, which are the phonemes. So what is phoneme grapheme mapping? Phoneme grapheme mapping is a physical way in which we represent the phonemes and graphemes. When we phoneme grapheme map, we allow students to represent the graphemes to the phonemes. When we word map today, we are going to be using Elkonin boxes, an Expo marker, and an eraser. These are great tools to use to tap out the sounds, the phonemes, and then we are going to practice writing the graphemes, which are the letters or groups of letters that represent the sounds. Some words have heart parts that you will see when we are about to math them. Heart words have a part of a word that is irregularly spelled. This is where children have to remember that part with their heart. So let's practice these words. Now we are going to phoneme grapheme the word the. Let's go ahead and tap the sounds in the word the. Th, uh. There are two sounds, so let's mark it. Th, uh. The first sound I hear in the is mm. Wow, my tongue is out. My teeth are on my tongue and it's vibrating. Mm. That is the sound. Mm. TH makes the mm sound. This is called a digraph. Two letters that make one sound. Mm. Uh. What sound do we think of when we hear uh? Let's spell that sound. We usually use U. But in the word the, we are not going to use that letter. It is actually an E that is going to say uh. And guess what? We call this a heart part. We have to remember this part with our heart because it is irregularly spelled. This is the word the. Now go ahead and write it on your own. The, uh. I like the dog. Great job. Our next word is the word two. Let's tap the sounds in the word two. T, ooh. Wow, there are two phonemes. T, ooh. Now let's spell the sounds. The first sound I hear is t, t, t. Oh, my voice box is not on. I know that consonant is t, t. Now let's move on to this sound. Ooh, hmm, ooh. In the word two, the letter O is going to represent the oo sound. And this is a part that we have to remember with our heart since it is irregularly spelled t oo. Now let's write it on our own. T oo. I like to swim. The next word is the word do. Do. D. Ooh. How many phonemes? Two. D. Ooh. Let's spell the sounds. D. Great job, the consonant D. D. Ooh. In 
this part, it is going to be a heart part. The O is going to represent the OO sound. D, OO. We have to remember this part with our heart. Now let's spell it on our own. D, OO. Do you like chocolate? Our next word is the word said. Said. Let's tap the sounds we hear. S-E-D. There are three phonemes. S-E-D. Now let's spell the sounds. Wow, my sound box is off. I feel air coming through my mouth. S. It is the consonant S. S. E. What sound do we hear here? E. Wow, I hear the short E sound. But we are going to come back to this part in just a second so I can explain it. S. E. D. D. Great job. It is the consonant D. What did we hear in this part and said? S -e -d. In this part, it is going to be a heart part. The letters A and I are making the E sound together. We have to remember this part with our heart. S -e -d. Now write the word on your own. S -e -d. I said hello. Of. Let's tap the sounds. A -v. How many phonemes? There are two. A, uh, mm. What is the first sound you hear in of? Ah. Uh. What vowel sound usually makes the a uh sound? Yes, if you said you, that is correct. But the word of is a little bit different. It is actually going to have an o. Oh. That represents the uh sound. So this is a part we have to remember with our heart. The final sound I hear in of is mm. Wow, my teeth are on my bottom lip. My voice box is on. Mm. What consonant makes that v mm sound typically? If you said V, you are correct. But in this word, a different letter is going to represent the v sound. And it is the consonant F. We have to remember this part with our heart too, making this word a whole word heart part. So now let's write the word of all by ourselves. A uh, v. I want a piece of candy. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.